Who doesn't love a delicious chocolate brownie, right? That's what we're doing today, but we're making it healthy. I'm using no white sugar and no white flour. We're gonna use some substitutes and I can't wait to show you. I bet you're very curious to see what they are. And uh, well, let's get into it. So here's our ingredients. First up, we have an avocado. Now don't let this avocado scare you off because it is, you're not gonna taste it at all, I promise. And it's gonna replace some of the fat in the recipe uh, in terms of butter, but uh, you won't miss it. We'll need some cocoa powder. I got this at Costco, a nice big bag of it. And this is just natural cocoa powder. For more chocolate flavor, we're using Guitard Extra Dark Chocolate Baking Chips, and these are 63% cacao. I think you can use, you know, semi-sweet or just regular dark chocolate if that's what you have. We're gonna use a banana for some of our sweetness. Just take your banana and place it in a bowl and mash it with a fork until it's nice and smooth and creamy. We'll need some maple syrup. Use the real stuff always, and this will help to not spike your, your blood sugar levels. We'll also be using a little bit of this monk fruit sweetener. I got this at Costco as well. And we'll need a little bit of butter. We'll need a couple of eggs, baking soda, vanilla extract, some salt, coconut flour, and our last item is some gelatin, which you can, you don't have to use this type. You can use the, you know, the other kind you see in the baking section. This helps to make this recipe a little more chewy. We're gonna bake our brownies in an eight by eight dish, baking dish here. And you wanna line it with some parchment paper, which I cut out a square. And I'm also gonna take just a little bit, I have some coconut, actually it's avocado oil spray here. And I'm just gonna kinda coat it just a little bit so the paper will stick. And then you take your paper and you smash it in and you can see that it just kind of stays where it needs to be. And then you can trim it up if you want to. And then you can cut off some of the excess. You want to leave some because it helps to pull the brownies out of the dish when they're ready to be removed. We're going to place our avocado into a food processor along with a couple other other ingredients so that we can get this nice and smooth. And you really can't do it that well by hand, so that's why we're using the food processor for this. Make sure you have a nice ripe avocado. We're going to place our banana, mashed banana, in there already. In goes the maple syrup. And you can find all the ingredients in the description of this video. Click down below where it says show more if you're on a computer and you can find it right down there. Here's our vanilla extract. Use the real stuff as well. And then we're just gonna blend this up until it's nice and creamy. Make sure to scrape down the sides a little bit to make sure everything gets combined well. So all of our other ingredients, our dry ingredients, are going into a large bowl. Here's the cocoa powder. The monk fruit sweetener. The gelatin. The salt coconut flour, baking soda, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of combine this up a little bit. So I've got my eggs here in a separate bowl. I put them in a separate bowl instead of putting them in the big pot or the big dish here uh, so that in case the shells break then I can go ahead and just get them out easily. So I'm going to place those eggs right in there with everything else. And I had the butter here melted just slightly. It's not hot. And then I'm gonna stir this up a little bit to combine it. And you can see it's pretty thick. So now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, which is our avocado mixture.
And you want to just stir that all up to combine it. It's going to be a nice thick batter. Once you get it mixed up, everything's combined, we'll place it right into our baking pan. The last thing we want to add, we have a few chocolate chips that we're going to add to add a little more chocolatey flavor to this. And we'll just stir those in. Then we'll just pour our batter into our baking dish and spread it out. So just push it right into the corners and get it as even as you can. I like to top it with a few extra chocolate chips. Just sprinkle them on top. We're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for, oh, we'll check it at about 40 minutes. So it's time for our chef joke. Our brownies are cooking. When do you take a brownie to the doctor? Any ideas? When it feels crummy. All right, so we're going to take the brownies out. That's what that parchment paper is for. It makes it nice and easy. I'll just set it out there. Now I cook this for, uh, at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. So just test it with a toothpick. That's what I did. I just poked that toothpick. You want it to be almost dry. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want it super, you know, you don't want it to be really wet either. I love how that chocolate just kind of melts right on top. You see that? It's wonderful. If you like a nice fudgy, chocolatey, delicious brownie, you are gonna love these. The flavor is delicious. The texture is nice and almost a little bit chewy, but a little bit on the softer side and plenty, plenty moist. Very delicious. So if you'd like to try another of my recipes, I have one that will actually complement this recipe. What it is, is my chocolate fluff. It is such an underrated recipe. You've got to try it. You can serve it on top of these brownies or just by itself. It is so delicious. I'm going to leave a link for you right over here. Click on that, check out that chocolate fluff and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Talk to you soon.